The next question is from The Realist. What are the best sources of carbs? In my opinion, the best sources of carbohydrates are the ones that are the potatoes e and rice. The easiest to digest. They're the ones that you can eat and f not feel bloated, uh, not have any gastro distress of any type. And in my experience uh, with clients and even myself, uh, the two sources of carbs that seem to do that well, where you can get your starchy carbohydrates, you can get the fuel for your workouts, uh, and also have great digestion, um, even if you eat a lot of them, like if I work with clients who need to eat a lot of carbs, um, is white rice, very easy to digest for most people, and sweet potato. Sweet potato is the other one. When when I eat a lot of sweet potato, I have great digestion. That's not always the case with other carbohydrates. Like if I eat a lot of oatmeal, oatmeal is okay as a source of carbs, but it could definitely cause bloat uh, and digestive issues if it push it too much. Uh, white rice and sweet potato, I'd say, are probably the two best ones. Staple carbs for me when I was competing. Mm. White rice and sweet potato. Although I did use oats. I did use oatmeal. Oatmeal does uh, work pretty well for me. I think that's the answer, though, what you just said, is that it really depends on how your body responds to it. There's, mm. Some people are fine with bread. Some people do okay with that. If you do okay with it and you don't have I digestion. I haven't met a lot of people, though. I yeah. have. I think mm. you, it can, like, at least so when I was in the, the competitive world, I met a lot of people that utilize bread and it worked for them. And it's like, if it works for you, it works for you. But... Um, I think that's what matters. I think what matters is learning, but you also have to be consistent enough to be able to measure like, okay, how's this affecting me? Exactly. Yeah. So that's the first step. And I personally, what I found with myself and most of my clients, it's the ones that you just listed, mm. sweet potato, yams, rice, uh, quinoa does really well. Also, uh, those tend to be some of my favorite sources of carbs and then vegetables, right? So if you're, you're eating your greens and veggies, then, uh, any, you know, oh, a nice, a nice uh, color diversity of, of carbohydrates with rice and sweet potato, yams, quinoa. Like that was like my staple. Yeah. And I have trained some endurance athletes and um, endurance, endurance athletes probably have the best case for higher carbohydrate um, diets. Uh, many endurance athletes just perform better when their diets uh, are, are very high carb. That's not to say that they shouldn't have a decent amount of protein too, but because their goal is endurance, um, carbs tend to be the more important macronutrient so long as they hit their their, their basics. Mm. And I've worked with clients who were endurance athletes who got a lot of their carbs from pasta. Mm -hmm. And they would eat lots of pasta, which comes from wheat. And when they work with me, I would have them experiment. And I'd say, "Can we? let's try switching to uh, white rice or quinoa-based pasta. So rather than the wheat-based pasta, Let's do pasta that's made with uh, quinoa or rice, and let's see what happens. And I'm trying to think right now. I think every single time there were positive uh, yeah. results. Like I think almost every single time that what I got back from them was, oh my god, I feel my digestion feels better. Yeah, the um, gastro distress. I've had the same yeah. with athletes. Like they didn't even realize it was there because they're feeling like it was fueling their energy for these, you know, long bouts of uh, intense uh, activity. And, you know, once you started to switch that up and, and get more uh, from something that was like easily digestible, it made a massive difference in their performance and the longevity of their energy. Yeah, wheat, you know, wheat has uh, compounds in it that the plant uh, produces to, per to disencourage animals from eating them. So with wheat, you have to grind it and, and cook it, and uh, you know. Is that what Paul Saladino was talking about on Joe Rogan? Yeah, the, that that was interesting as shit to me. Yeah, I mean, how that doesn't happen until you actually bite into it, and then they then it. Uh, the, oh, that was something else. Yeah. Oh, I thought that's what it was. Yeah, it, yeah, it was, yeah. I thought it was. It wasn't wheat. It was vegetables. He was yeah, talking about. It was about. something else. Yeah. I yeah. thought that was really fascinating. Yeah, but no, with wheat, you 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 can't just. Pull, pick wheat and eat it. It would destroy you. You have to really grind the shit out of it. Uh, ancient cultures used to also ferment it, which would break down some of the the gluten and other compounds uh, to make it digestible. Rice, white rice, they already remove the 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 hole or whatever. It's so like brown rice harder to digest than white rice. White rice, they remove a lot of the part of the plant that makes it harder to digest. So what you're left with is easily digestible starch. And this is why white is superior to brown, right? That's a For question I get all the time. Yes, because on paper, you'd think brown rice is better. Oh, it's got more yeah, fiber, fiber, it's got more right? nutrients. Yeah. But it actually has anti-nutrients. It can cause your body to uh, absorb certain nutrients less. Um, it's harder to digest. So the reality is, forget what it says on paper. With, with certain foods, you want to remove the parts that can potentially make them 
hard to digest. Mm. And so white rice is much easier to di- digest than brown rice. And white rice for most people is much easier to digest than, than wheat-based products. 